is an actress best known for playing the utterly lovable best friend Julie in Lady Bird. Please welcome Beanie Feldstein. <laughs> So nice to meet hey, you. It's so nice to meet you too. Thank you for having me. This oh, is so exciting. My pleasure. I've 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 had the the great joy and opportunity to talk to a couple other uh, the, the director Greta and of course uh, Sersha, who plays Lady Bird. But I just absolutely loved uh, your performance Thank as you. her best friend Julie. Um, I and and I, I we <laughs> yeah, That's too. So nice. Um, I, I just want to show one. Well, we have one quick clip to show of yeah. uh, one of my favorite scenes between you and Lady Bird. Go ahead, Jim. Why aren't you in Algebra 2? I switched sections. Why? Aren't Jenna and Kyle enough? <laughs> I'm sorry that you're jealous. <laughs> Jenna is a moron, you know. She's not. She's in AP Calculus. She's a moron in a deeper sense. You don't even know her. Miss Patty assigned you a role, by the way. You just never showed up to claim it. What role? The Tempest. There is no role of the Tempest. It is the titular role. No, it's a made-up thing, so we all can participate. You can't do anything unless you're the center of attention, can you? Yeah, well, you know your mom's They're fake, totally fake. She made one bad decision at 19. Two bad decisions. <laughs> well, great team. <laughs> We actually showed it when Saoirse was on, too. It's the best. Great Greta is well, it, uh, it won the Golden Globe. It's nominated for five Oscars now. Have you had a chance to celebrate with your fellow uh, Lady Birders? Yes. So, okay, so the SAG Awards was the Sunday before the announcement was okay. made. And Greta and I planned to have breakfast on the morning that the announcements came out. Yep. And I was so excited. And, like, my heart was just bursting for her. I was so excited. And I'm driving to meet her for breakfast. And I get a text from her that's like, are we still on? For the plan, I'm like, yeah, Greta, I think I can squeeze you in on the morning you're nominated for Best Director. It was so sweet. Um, and I'm driving there, and I was like, I don't know what to get her. Like, what do you get people when they're best, you know, they're nominated for Best Director and their film is nominated? It's like, do I get her a card? Do I get her flowers? And then I, it hit me. I was like, I need to get her the Greta, which when we were filming, the only thing Greta ever asked for was an ice-cold Diet Coke and a bag of Cheetos. Every day, and so we started to call it the Greta, and so I is got her. Is? Is that what this the, is? Yes, I got her the Greta. So this is us on the morning that the Oscar nominations were announced, and <laughs> she walked in. She walked into where we were eating, and she, we were crying and jumping up and down. And then she looks at the bag, and she's like, "You got me the Greta." And she's like <laughs> sobbing, and it was it was one of the most special mornings I've ever had. Now, everybody I know has seen this movie, uh, just loves it. We I've waxed on about this movie on the show so several funny. times now. But um, has anybody come up to you that really surprised you? who loved the movie, because you must get it all the time. Yes, so I just got back from London, and I was lucky enough to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I'm the biggest Harry Potter fan, so I was okay. so excited. And I was lucky enough to go backstage, and I went back right when the curtain came down, so the whole cast was still in their costumes. So I was like, oh my God, oh my God. And Dumbledore, who appears in portraits in the play, he walks up to me, and he's like, Beanie, we love Lady Bird. And I was like, Dumbledore knows who I am. <laughs> uh -huh. Like, you know, I, you think I would know by now that people are actors sure, and they're sure. wearing costumes, but sure. he was in the robe and he had the beard and I was like, it's Dumbledore. He sees yes. everything. He even sees the muggles. I was very excited. That's how I felt. That's how I felt when I met Ian McKellen. Yes. I'm like, Gandalf knows my name. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Now you play, uh, it takes place in a, for people who haven't seen it, it place, takes place in a Catholic school. Yeah. Uh, now Feldstein, I'm going to take a wild guess, that's not an Irish Catholic name. What <laughs> is it like for you to play a Catholic? Was there something you learned about my tribe yeah. that you liked? Well, it's, I come from theater and I love theater and you guys are very theatrical. Oh, the mass is a play. Every yeah. week it's another play. And yeah. there, there's, a, there's like a call and response. You sure. use your hands. There's choreography. I was like, I can get with this. You, but when do I put wait, my arms up? Wait, What's the choreography? Count? Well, you have to if like... If your priest starts dancing, <laughs> get out of there. <laughs> well, speaking of high schools, I understand that you had a very famous prom date. Yes, 
Who was your prom date? I went to prom with Ben Platt. He's my best friend in the world. And from you know, Dear Evan Hansen. And, okay, so and you don't know each other like from show business. You guys don't know each other from your lives. Yeah, we went to high school together, and we are best, 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 best friends since well, we were I, 14. Well, I asked if this was it, okay. They got it. Okay, I asked if this would be as achievable. May, may I show this? Yes. This is an exclusive, right? No one's ever seen. this. I don't think so. No, this okay. is us in you this know pre-prom. Pre-prom yeah. photo. This is when we were at this his is you house. And Ben Platt about yeah. to go. To prom. <laughs> We look like such babies. You do. <laughs> he is he, getting ready for prom. He has gotten himself. He has gotten himself a deep, deep tan. I can see. <laughs> so uh, I know did, we live. We grew up in Los Angeles. You think we could get yeah, a little ask. more? <laughs> so did he do a proposal? He did. So I, as I mentioned, we're, we're really into theater, and uh, I was out in New York, and I was auditioning for a production of Funny Girl, the musical. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure how well you know it, but he sent me flowers, and on the note it said, "Please don't rain on my parade. Sure. You're my people." It was all the the songs from the show were incorporated into the note, and it said, "Will you go to prom with me?" Wow. At the end, and yeah. He, and if you said no, he could have given it to Streisand. <laughs> Now, I totally. did, we got to go here for a second, but I want to do one thing. They've hidden this from me. This is uh, it's this right here. I want to hand this to you. Uh, people in my office have been taking the BuzzFeed quiz of which Lady Bird character are you most like. Yeah. So I took the test this afternoon. I gave it to my producer. He fed it in there. And uh, tell me, tell me who I am. Okay. Who which am. Lady Bird character are you? And show it, show it to them. Who am I? You got Lady Bird. So we're best we're friends. We're best friends. My best friend. We're Catholic school best friends. Yes, we have to go to prom together now. Lady Bird is in theaters now. Beanie Feldstein, everybody. When we come back.